Welcome back to Thief 2. This drink that I'm drinking is fucking awesome. It's cherry lime aid, and of all out of all of the aids I've ever had, this is the best. All right, so my objectives are numerous. But I'm just going to break it down to keep it simple. All right, so the first two things is travel via the rooftops and stay off the streets and infiltrate Angel Watch. So, forget everything else. Let's just do that. Stay on the roofs, the rooftop, and infiltrate. All right, uh, do I have a map? Yes, I do. I'm at the bell tower. I guess that's what I'm hearing. The bell. And, oh, God. I'm... Yeah, I don't even see Angel Watch on this map, so I'm going to have to travel pretty far. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, well, let's just progress a little bit, and then I'll check the map again. I guess I probably don't have to worry about being seen. Unless people hang out on the rooftops a lot. I don't see anyone. So, yeah, let's just go. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. <laughs> <laughs> if I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. North. 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 Looks like there's two ways to go. Oh, wait, is this marking the path that I'm going to take? I don't know, I'll find out. It's quite a drop, though. If I fall down there, Garrett is going to splat like a rotten tomato. Or even a non-rotten tomato. Because if you drop a tomato from that high, it's going to splat whether it's rotten or not. <gasps> I hear someone. They're facing right at me, and they apparently don't see me. Okay. So there are people up here. Oh, hello. Or someone else. Hmm. Hmm. I almost just fell. Okay, well there's two routes I could take. I could, I could, I could either go that way or I could go down the ladder here. <laughs> this way sucks because there's someone looking at me, so I'm going to go this way. Hello? Anyone in there? Yep. There's definitely someone in there. Time to give him a taste of my shaft. <laughs> someone making noise? God damn it. Uh. Where are you, you topper? That's something I'm really hoping they f He's not going to come out here, is he? No, I don't think so. That's something I'm really hoping they're going to fix in Thief 3. Is... The... Like, man it's really hard to stay stealthy in Thief 1 and 2 while maneuvering around. Like, if you're just walking, that's fine. But if you try and do anything else, like if you're trying to jump or if you're trying to climb, it's almost impossible to stay stealthy. As you saw there, just... You should be able to easily get into this window while remaining silent, right? I mean, you don't need to jump or anything. You just kind of, you know, just get yourself up like this. And that's good, except for some reason, you automatically stand up when doing that, and it's like you jump two inches and make a loud clacking noise, which completely ruins any possibility of stealth. It's really annoying. It it really limits your maneuverability while remaining stealthy. You know, I'd like it to be super smooth, like Dishonored or something. Like, Dishonored had amazing smoothness and fluidity to its movement. It was wonderful, so I... 
I'm hoping that Thief 3, and, well, hopefully Thief 4 when it comes out. Actually, wait, isn't Thief 4 just called Thief? God, that's going to be confusing. I'm just going to call it Thief 4. So yeah, I'm hoping Thief 3 and maybe Thief 4 improve on that. And make the movement a lot more fluid. I mean, you're supposed to be a master stealthman. I don't think that's a word, but I just made it up. You know, you're supposed to be a master at this. But Garrett, the master thief, can't climb a one-foot windowsill without making a loud banging noise on the stone? I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. All right. I'm just going to solve this issue right now. Solved. <laughs> He's going to turn around right at the top of the stairs. Yeah. God damn it. <gasps> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know what, just for all of the trouble you caused me, you are going to go to sleep in a very special place. Hold on, I need to steal this first. Okay, come with me. Come with me, sir. I am going to put you... Where should I put you? Somewhere precarious. I don't want to kill him. Okay, how about right here? There you go. Enjoy waking up. And there's another Hobbit door. this I'm I'm somewhere here and I have no idea where all right where does this go oh I thought you could hide from me healing potion no one hides from Garrett the master thief that can't climb into a slightly raised window without making shit tons of noise. Alright, well I'm supposed to be going north. Oh yeah, the, fro <laughs> the frog beast egg. Okay, let me figure out what this is. Oh, it's the suicide bomb things. Did they suicide on me? No. Well, I'm not going to be using that. that. That's essentially... It's basically a homing grenade. That's essentially what it is. Which is not good for stealth because they explode. So, I'm not going to use that. And I'm telling you that the only stench heartier than your rotting burrick of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vernon again, we'll boil his knickers. Oh, mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed inbred page boy such as yourself our good master willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd how dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the lady van vernon old lady is a saint among mortal women an angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her <laughs> ah, your lady, an angel? You're lucky the dockside whore keeps aren't bashing down her door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night, I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be <laughs> tolerated while we're on watch. You best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off, or you'll require some unnecessary ventilation. 
Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You gonna prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You gone! You gone too far this time, you camel mother tunic wedding molly collar! An arrow in the throat that'll shut you up! Have at thee! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! The purples kicked their ass! Oh my god! Well, I guess... Instead of being between the Crips and the Bloods, it was a fight between the Purples and the Reds. I hear someone walking down there, is that... Are the Reds coming up to fight the Purples? As much as it's nice that a couple of them died, which gets them out of the way, it, the rest are on alert, so that actually became worse for me. Do I have an invisibility potion? Mm, yes, I have one. Actually, hold on, let me throw a scouting orb. I have a wonderful view of a dead soldier. God damn it, this is the most useless place to throw this, I could have put it. Wonderful. Some arrows inside of a dead person. Let's try that again. Uh, great, now I can see his armpit. Well, that was useless. Okay, they're back. Oh, God, they're staring right at me, though. Okay. Well, I'm assuming there's stairs down right over there. I could take an invisibility potion. But... I could also distract them. Do I have a noisemaker arrow? No. I could distract them just with a broadhead arrow, though. Let me try it. Damn it. No, they're not... They're not going right to it, they're just kind of searching around. Okay. I think I need to take an invisibility potion. Unless there's another way? Could I get up there? No. There's no way I could. Oh, wait a minute. What about this? Whoops. Okay, let's not do that, but let's go this way. Much better. Much, much better. I do want my scouting orbs back, so I think I'm going to need to bash them. Uh, Alright, let's see. I think I can make that jump. Did he just see me? Okay. Different plan. <laughs> that takes care of that. Now let's get my scouting orbs back. Yoink. Where's the other one? I don't think there's anything around here. I think I need to go to where the reds are. Yeah. Alright, up it is. And this game requires you to hold down like 50 keys at once. I don't know if you can hear the furious key presses. 
It also doesn't help that it seems like almost everything you do makes you uncrouch, so I have to keep pressing crouch again. Like, you go down a ladder, and I think you uncrouch, right? Yep, uncrouched. If you jump in a window, you uncrouch. If you jump at all, you uncrouch. The heck is this? Oh. Oh, God. Why do all the lights give you seizures? Another hobbit door. And where do I go? Ah, oh, I think I go here. I think this is highlighted. So I think this is where I am? I'm not really sure. It's really hard to read that map. Well, that is a loud-ass surface. Question is, is there anyone to hear? Let me check. Let me actually for once use my scouting orbs, which are almost always useless, but in this case are actually useful. <sighs> There's nothing there. Yeah, those aren't open windows. I'm just taunting the AI to hear me. Bring it on. Is that supposed to be a window, or is that like part of a bookcase? That does not look like the texture was aligned properly. Before I keep going that way, I want to know what's here. Nothing. Actually, I wonder, do you think they'd be crazy enough to put something special up there? Let me try this. Vine arrow. Let's see how this thing works. That is awesome. Oh my god. There wow, there's actually something up here. Alright, I'll take that. Holy shit. This room's fucking awesome! Look at this! Beautiful! It kind of looks like a crazy person's home, but it's still pretty damn cool. Except the ceiling. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Looks like a bunch of ash. But this is super cool. I feel kind of like I'm in a, an aquarium. Because of the blue. Oh, that's all that's here, actually. And once again, this hole is rejecting me. Yeah, this is what I'm hoping is improved in the next game. The fluidity of movement. You know, I mean, you don't... It doesn't need to be super complex, just to make it quite a bit more fluid. Just make it so that if, you, if you're already crouched and you do something, you pretty much stay crouched. Like if you're crouched and you climb up into a window, you stay crouched. Um, if you jump while crouched, you do maybe a crouch jump. Or maybe you do a normal jump, but then just crouch again once you land. And also something to make it easier to get through small holes. Cause I might actually be stuck in here. Oh, uh, uh, I'm kind of in the hole. I'm, I'm a little bit in. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the hole. I need some lube. Anyone have some KY? Or some butter? Or some motor oil? I'm trying to go forwards, but it won't let me. Trying to crouch, won't do anything. Oh, for fuck's sakes, come on. There we go. I think there's someone up there. Hmm. I wonder if getting up there would actually be a good thing, because I think I could. Let's go for it. Oh. Here we go. 
I missed. That hurt. Ow. Someone over there? <sighs> Let's aim for the part that isn't as high. God damn it. Alright, I need to build build up some momentum. There we go. Nope. There we go. I was crouched and didn't even realize it. There's some lovely, convenient shadows. Shit. Shit, shit. I think he's coming. Not good. Not good. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Whew. Nothing there now. Oh god damn it, I can't lockpick it. Shit. They must have a key on them. Okay, one's going this way. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Alright, I'll get this one. When he goes this way, and then I'll get the other one around the other way. Out again? Okay, this one does not have a key. Must be the other one. The other one does seem to have fancier garb. It might have been faster just to wait back there at the door, but oh well. I'm already committed. And I'm about to commit a crime. Yep, there's a key. Yoink. <sighs> Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't seize what I'm lifting. What you'll see is the haft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got me a question. Do we want the gold or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you taffer. Now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Blue Coats company? The Blue Coats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already. <laughs> well, well, housebreakers. How quaint. Maybe I should show them how a real professional does it. Let's do that. I can get back up here pretty easily. <gasps> oh. I just realized something. New mission. Complete a second aerial blackjack attack. Here we go. Hiya. Uh. Fuck yeah. Oh god. Hey, what's up? I don't even know what to say. I meant to throw a flash bomb, but accidentally picked up the body instead, and then he just got stuck. Making grunting noises with his crotch in my face. But I beat his balls into a pulp until he, I hope, went unconscious and didn't die? No, I killed him. I beat him to death by hitting him with my blackjack in his balls. That is not a good way to go. But, you know, I mean, he's a thief, so who cares about thieves, right? Oh, wait. I'm a thief. 
Anyway... Let's see what they were trying to steal. Is that a ring? Hmm. Oh, there's actually someone here? I thought this place was abandoned. Actually, wait, they might be outside. That's another thing I'm hoping that Thief 3 improves upon, is maybe it has some more advanced audio um, effects. So that, you know, if you're hearing something that's, say, obscured by a wall or something, it actually sounds muffled. In an, you know, in a fairly accurate way, so you can really tell where they are. Because as it is, in Thief 1 and 2, it's, look, it sounds like he's right here. Like he's right in front of me. Oh shit. It's really hard to tell where they are. They just sound like they're coming from all over. So I think if the audio was uh, was better and there were some more advanced features that that actually told you, uh, you know, behave pretty realistically based on what's obscuring the sound, um, I think it would really help a lot. Shit, that was my last flash bomb. That is not good. I'm out of flash bombs and I haven't even gotten to the place. That's 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 terrible. I am doing horrible. But it doesn't matter because I'm having fun. Alright, where does this go? Nowhere I want to be. Let's see what's downstairs. Hmm. I guess it's just another entrance to this place. Alright, let's go back to that place where I was and use that key to unlock it. Nope, not gonna reach. Good job, Garrett. Good job, once again, Garrett. Master Thief. <gasps> Are you serious? Garrett, could you maybe grapple onto that, please? Let's try a different place. <laughs> There we go. I keep forgetting to listen in, which I really should because the guard was right there and I almost got seen. Hey, we got an intruder. <sighs> hey, what's up, dude? I have no flash bombs left. And that's another thing I wish they did. Another thing about the audio rendering. I just wish it was more realistic. Because, I mean, doors block a lot of sound, but they don't block all sound. When he's just up to the door, and walking right in front of it and about to open it, you should be able to hear something. But I can hear nothing. Hmm. Strange noises. Alright, I'm just gonna kill you. Cause there's like nowhere for me to hide in here. I think I might die. Did I kill him too? Damn it. I don't even think I need to be in here. I think there's just... Yeah, I think there's just money. And not even very much of it. Yeah, that's it. I just killed someone for a couple stacks of silver. I'm a terrible person. Okay, so where am I going? Alright, I'm here. 
So, I'm still not sure if this is supposed to be the route that I take or what. I don't know what that is. Necromancer's Spire. That sounds like fun. Well, let me see if I can go north. Oh, that's north. Alright, can I keep going north? No, I need to go east. <gasps> well, this is going to make traveling easier. Weird, I haven't been here before, but I don't hear anyone. There should be some guards, somewhere. I think this might be the Necromancer's spire. Yeah, that is. Hello? Yeah, there doesn't, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Of course, now I'm acting careless because of that, so I'm probably going to be seen. I'm glad I listened in this time. There is someone right in there. Hmm. Cherry Limeade. Ah. Okay, I think the footsteps are going away. Wait, what the hell is this patrol path? It's very short. I thought he walked the whole corridor, but he only walks like five feet and then turns around. What is he even patrolling? I mean, shouldn't he be, be patrolling like the door? Or the windows? I'm here, so I need to go north. Is this north? Yep. Alright, Angel Watch is up there. I still don't know what those red lines are. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Garrett mentioned something about the roofs. The roofs being called the Thieves Highway. And this is called the Baron's Way, and that's the... What the hell is that? Grand Modern Road? Alright, so those aren't routes I necessarily have to take, but they are, I guess, notable thieves' routes. Okay. That makes sense. So I go north until I hit the Baron's Way, and then just go east, and then north again. Who's making those noises? No one. Hmm, I'm starting to see things. I'd better get some rest. Mm, yes, I just like to spend hours every day examining my piles of money. Yeah, those piles of money are still there. Money, money, money. I like money. I like staring at money. I like sleeping with money. Well, whether I, whether I can break that glass or not, it doesn't really matter because that's not the way I'm going to go in. Way too damn loud. Don't want to fall down there. Not that it really matters, because if I fell down there, I'd break my entire body. That was easy. <laughs> 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 
The walls of this building appear to be made out of windows. Alright, that's north. So, where's the Baron's... Wait, I'm... Wait, what? Is the Baron's Way not a place on the roofs? Because it appears the Baron's Way is the street down there. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute, I could enter that window. Let me go do that. What's in there? Actually, I could enter that window too. But could I get back up? I don't even need to. Because this will take me over to that window. So let me just fall down here. Oh, hi, guard. Stop tapping. I'm sorry, what were you saying? He didn't hear that in there, did he? No. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I couldn't hear that over the sound of your broken face. I think I just hit that bench instead. Whoops. There's another hobbit door. Who made that noise? Money, 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 money. I'm just wistfully thinking of the good old days in Thief Gold when I made that massive man pile of like five plus people. I haven't gotten the chance to make another man pile that big. But then again, I did get the chance to make a monkey pile. Or a monkey man demon pile. Whatever the hell they were. So that kind of evens out. I don't even know what this material is that I'm walking on. Is this wood? Oh god, it's... Oh, fuck. It's like marble in there. Damn it. Alright, gonna need a moss arrow for this one. It's funny that the guards don't seem to notice the massive pile of moss that's now on the ground. Isn't that a bit suspicious? Alright, let's wait for him to come back. Alright, it's coming back. Or not? It sounds like he went in some side room. I'm assuming he's going to come back. <laughs> okay, I think this is north. Oh no, this is east. Okay, so I'm going into this building. Alright, th this will work. If I just keep heading east, then I can go north again, I think. Oh, here we go. I think he's coming. What is he doing? He's just opening tons of doors. Okay, there we go. Now he's coming. Mm. Oh, my dogs are killing me. Who's there? Speak up. Perfect. I hope there's no one... Oh. 
This is what he was doing. Oh my god, look at all these doors. I hope there's no one else in here, because if there is, they're going to hear my footsteps. Because I've already established that even if I go as slow as possible, if I do this, they can still hear me. Mr. J.B. Tuttleshank, Supervisor. <laughs> Tuttleshank, what the hell kind of a name is that? Let's see if the Supervisor is in. Hello? What in the hell kind of a flower pot is that? It looks like an upside down lamp with plants growing out of the bottom of the lampshade. <gasps> and now that I just realized that, this entire room now looks like it's upside down. That seriously does look like an upside down lamp. Hmm. Where's the key to this thing? Any hidden hidden levers around? Nope. Wait a minute, what if I can lockpick it? There we go. I'm not sure what I'm lockpicking because there's no keyhole, but I'm not going to complain. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, I think I opened this. Is that a bunch of diamonds? It is. Oh my god, I'm rich. Wow, I haven't even gotten to the place and I already have over 750. Crimshaw, luck... The receipt's in the safe this time, or you'll taste the lash. Though I can't prove it, I suspect one of the night watchmen of having sticky fingers. <laughs> if not every penny is accounted for in the morning, it will come out of your backside. What? <laughs> and another thing. Don Valencia will be uh, will be by in the morning to pick up his diamonds. Make sure you log the transfer and extend every courtesy we have available. Valencia is a client I do not want to lose. And I just took all of his diamonds. He's not going to like that. How do you take money out of someone's backside? I don't get it. Does he store his money up his ass? I mean, I guess that's a pretty safe place to put it. But it's kind of disgusting and painful. Hey again? Hello? Shit, they heard me. Come out where I... Yeah, there's like no noise that comes through there at all. Two doors. Absolutely none. He's right on the other side, and I can't hear a single thing. Okay, let me put down some moss. Alright, I think it's safe. What's that noise? <clears throat> mm, I don't think I can make it to him. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, running for the win. MLG run strike.
Okay. I don't even know where I am on this map anymore. I'm somewhere here. I think I might be here. And I think I'm looking east still, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think I'm right here. I think that's the way I need to go. But I wonder if there's anything valuable up here. Eh, screw it. It's a wood floor, moderately loud, but I should be able to sneak up on her. What's up here, though? A guard. <gasps> Oops. Whoa, this is a message to me? Uh... How did someone know I would be here? Garrett, we hope this information we have provided you thus far has been useful. You do well to seek information at Anglewatch, but beware. All is not as it seems at the Mechanist Tower. And Karis is more aware of your actions than you may think. Still, there are ways to outwit him. Okay. How did he go? What? Did he just disappear? Uh, what the fuck? There's no doors to go through. Where? Huh? I, I don't know if that was a bug or if that was intentional. This does look like it should open. This definitely looks like it should open, but I don't see anything to open it with. Oh, here we go. Well, he obviously didn't go through there. Ooh, gas mine. Sweet. Okay. He literally disappeared. this. You know, didn't I buy... I can't remember. Did I buy information for this mission? To record... Wait, have I read this? Have I read this? I don't think I have, but what the hell is this and where did I get it? What is that? The scripture passage. I don't remember where that came from. Isn't that something I'm supposed to get as part of the quest? Read Karis' latest entry into the new scripture. So, what is this then? This is the new scripture. Well, I guess it's just a draft? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter then, because I'm going to read the full version, right? I don't know what's up with the AI in the first game and the second game. They they say they saw something when they could not have possibly seen anything. They could have heard something. But she couldn't have possibly seen me. Her field of vision does not extend anywhere near that far. She'd have to have like a 300 degree field of vision to see me. I'm practically right behind her. 
someone there? Look, look, she can't see me. There's no way. What was that? <clears throat> uh. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. Hey, yoink. Where am I? Oh, I'm... I'm basically there. Wait, is this building the Angel Watch building? Isn't it supposed to be like some... super party for extremely wealthy individuals? This is just a brick house. This can't be the party, can it? No way, that's not fancy enough. No, this can't be it. Yeah, there it is. <gasps> mm, I, uh, I want to get up there, but I don't want to walk on this. It's way too loud. But, fuck it. <sighs> oh shit. It looks like it's patrolled by an extremely drunk person, but he did see me. I don't want to waste my gas mine on this stupid drunk idiot. That is, stupid drunk idiot as opposed to a smart drunk idiot. If there's another way over there, unless I can somehow get up. <sighs> no, there's no way. I hope his fighting seals are very bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely drunk. Oh my god. He drank four bottles of wine. Wait, oh no. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He, he drank eight bottles of wine? Dude. No wonder he wasn't good at fighting. Here, well you get to wake up with excruciating back pain. If I can get you up there. I don't think he's even colliding with it. Nope. Alright, well why don't you sleep in the corner with a bunch of bottles on you? There we go. Now when, you're, when your superiors find you, there will be no doubt about what happened. <sighs> so, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. There is going to be so much to steal in there. <laughs> 